G'day, I'm Scotty Tucker. In this video, I just want to show you uh, some filtration for really large ponds. Uh, these filters are used in aquaculture situations, but also larger ponds. Uh, they're a great filter where you need a pressurised system. You can see that they're very much like your traditional uh, swimming pool sand filter type filter, but these ones have got a special bead on the inside, which acts as both a mechanical filter and a biological filter. So they're a true biofilter uh, for larger, uh, larger ponds. Uh, similar to a, a sand filter, they have uh, valves here that you uh, do your backwash sort of uh, capabilities. The internal structure of the filters has been modified to take these beads, so when you do do a clean, you don't need to actually, uh, or you're not going to waste any of the, uh, the beads going out. Uh, they've also got a spa blower for when you do do a backwash that's it's air assisted, so all the crap that's built up on the inside is agitated and it washes out. Now these are, uh, these are what should be used in these types of larger systems. Uh, we inherited this job or this project and I'm not going to show you the pond itself because uh, I basically don't want to uh, sort of um, poo poo or bad mouth other people's work and, and um, sort of show, up, show off the pond and embarrass those that, that may be embarrassed with that sort of stuff. But um, the original works was done by an aquarium company who I think would be really good at doing aquariums but perhaps didn't have a great understanding of ponds and they did what's quite commonly done also by uh, landscapers and swimming pool companies where they'll put a sand filter on a, on a pool, or sorry, on a pond uh, and it just doesn't work because you need the biological aspect in a pond filter and these guys also tried to modify their own sand filter and just stick in bio balls, which is a, a filtration media commonly used in, uh, in aquarium sort of setups that used to be used in aquaculture many, many years ago, but there's far better technology now, so they're not commonly used. Uh, but, and then the other mistake that they did is that they filled this quite large pond. It's probably about, I'm going to say roughly 100,000 litres, but they filled it all up with river rocks that they didn't even wash, so the, you've got this mass of uh, river rock and mud on the bottom and that was causing problems with the sand filters clogging up all the time, uh, the pre-filters with the bio balls getting covered in crap all the time. So the system was just never going to work. So if you do need to use a pressurised filter uh, just because of the logistics of where you're going to run your piping and where like this is in a separate filter room away from the pond where you do need a pressure filter uh, or if you're um, uh, if you're just wanting to use that kind of uh, technology type filter in terms of pressurised sand filter for larger ponds, use one that's actually purpose built for it rather than try and modify it yourself. You'll just have a far better result. Uh, so this is the, uh, the aquabiome filter, great for larger ponds, great for uh, aquaculture, small aquaculture systems and research systems and um, quite easy to use.